Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a video that I did in the springtime as well. Well, in the springtime Paula did this video where she took three fold palettes and made three spring looks with it. So we can use our palettes all year round and it's not only a seasonal kind of palette. So she did it again. She took three winter palettes and created three summer looks and I was like... I need to do this again, it's so much fun and then now we're here in the middle of September and it's almost fall. I really really wanted to have this up before fall starts and that is around this time. I'm going to show you my palettes and talk a little bit about them and my looks and then I will show you the clip where I did the look, you know, the tutorial kind of thing. I'm really excited to see if Paula is going to do the reverse style, so the three spring palettes, three four looks and so on with the winter as well. Let me just talk about the palettes that I have used in this video. For the first look I used my W7 Seduced palette and I was really inspired about the coal shade in this palette which is that one right there which is called Aphrodisiac. I should remember it now because when I did the two weeks one palette with this I was not very good with that shade, uh, pronouncing it at least. But yeah, this is the palette and as you may can guess, I use the more warmer tones in this one. And especially Aphrodisiac, especially that. So I used that in my crease, I used Silk, which is this warm brown. I used this Gold, which is Champagne. I used Oyster and Lace. So these three and these two. Um, I think I used Wamp as well to deepen up the outer corner because I can't live without that. Um, I think I did those shades. Um, so you will see here in the clip how I did the look. I really really love how it turned out and yeah I was really really happy about it and I was really excited that I could make Aphrodisiac really opaque on the lower lash line because that is what I really want for that look. So yeah, let me just show you the clip where I created the look with this palette. Did I even tell you guys why I chose this palette? I chose this one because it is glittery and glitter is reminding me of Christmas because Christmas is glitter in my head and it is a very cool tone palette so I think it's very appropriate for the winter months winter months so that is why i chose this palette and i wanted to make it more spring like so i used the warm tones in this palette because i really like my warm tones in the summertime and let me know how you like that look because i really like it <laughs>
then I used my Too Faced Gingerbread Palette Spice. No, Too Faced Gingerbread Spice eyeshadow palette. I used this for the first time in that video and I was really excited. I had some trouble about the gumdrop shade and the figgy, figgy pudding shade that I also did in the final look. Um, I tried to do it once and then I had to remove it because it got patchy and then I did it again in another way and that is how I'm going to show you in the video. So I was really really happy about the look um, but usually pinks and purples can be patchy if you blend them too much and that is what I did in the first look so I changed my method in the second look and it got a little bit darker than I would have liked it to be to be honest so this is the palette and I chose this palette because first of all it's a holiday palette so it was appropriate just in that way but it's also gingerbread which is Christmas in a palette it smells it smells like Christmas and I'm so excited. Um, I'm, I'm really ready for fall, if you can't tell, and Christmas for that matter. I can see what shades I used. <laughs> I used powdered sugar, which is this brow bone shade thingy. I used Frostbite Me, I think, and the champagne shade, which is called Spiked, Spiked Eggnog. Yeah. Um, and then I used Lucky at My Cookie. And I used Gumdrop and I used Spice is Nice, the orange. I used Hot Toddy on my lid. I was really excited about that. Um, if I should do it again, maybe I would have chosen a brighter lid color, but I really, really, really wanted to use Hot Toddy. Um, and then Figgy Pudding, the purple shade. Yeah, I didn't use Sugar Daddy or these nine shades over here. Um, because they are more fall and winter appropriate. I think I would, I thought I would use the brighter and lighter colors in this look. Even though it turned out quite dark. <laughs> but it was bright and I loved it and I would definitely use that in the summertime. So, I was really excited to use this finally and yeah. <laughs> Let me know how you think about that look because I really liked it. You can discuss whether it was a summer or fall time look. Maybe it was just the in-between, the transition into fall. I don't know. <laughs> Me justifying why it was so dark. <laughs>
have the Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics and if you don't know I love this palette so much and I think about this as a winter palette because it is cool more it's not entirely cool tone but it is more cool tone than the love signs one and it's a little bit darker so I think about winter as cold and dark cool toned and dark so I think that worked out it is what I am wearing right now I just finished filming this look so I really hope you enjoy it I used the shades from Gemini and Cancer so the purpley and I would say this is a purpley blue color uh, more more blue than purple the two purples and then Gemini I don't think I used anyone anything else because I really wanted to have this lavender purple thing but yeah I only used those four and then for the inner corner it's just Gemini the, the silver shade Um, I was debating whether or not I should use the silver but I think it turned out really nice because the purple is cool toned and the silver so I didn't put a warm tone in it so I have two warm toned looks and then I have this more cool toned purple look I really really enjoyed making this look and I have a purple eyeliner on as well um, I don't know how opaque it is going to be on camera but I really really like that one and um, so yeah that is the look I have done with Zodiac palette from BS Cosmetics, let me know how you think about that look because I really like it. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did give it a like, subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos or the next video in this kind of series that I am doing apparently. Um, the first video I got challenged by Paula and I'm so glad I did because I really like using and thinking about my palettes in another way. If you haven't checked out Paula yet, you should definitely do. I will have her linked down below she is amazing she is one of my best friends here on youtube and i do a lot of projects with her and our shopping our stash collab series here on youtube i'm really excited about it i just love how she looks at things a little bit different than the normal person um i just love her for that and i love her challenging me in another way and I really really enjoy everything I do with her so you will love her just as much as I do. So until my next video I hope you have a good one and I will see you there.